ready mix concrete what is ready mix concrete what are the main types of ready mix concrete how do you make the ready mix concrete what are the main advantages of ready mix concrete will be discussed today i am prasad from structural guide you are welcome to the structural guide youtube channel please subscribe our youtube youtube channel you may get the notification on new videos what is ready mix concrete ready mix concrete is the type of concrete that transport to the site after mixing in the different location it is not the same as the manual mix concrete so there are different properties when compared to the ready mix concrete and manual manual mix concrete if they are done is different different manner ready mix concrete can be considered as more advanced and more consistent mix when compared compared to the other type of mix because the consistency will be issue when you do the manual mixing during the construction throughout the period you have to maintain the mix proportions the water content accurately otherwise there will be issues in the ready mix concrete strength and the, there may be durability issues as well if you put the water high amount of water than required there may be issues you know when the water cement ratio is changed what will happen therefore the best type of concrete is the ready mix concrete if you can use it always but it doesn't mean that you can't mix you can't use the manual mix concrete so then the concrete manual mix concrete is also you can use but you have to maintain the consistency and the mix proportions correctly if you using it type of ready mix concrete there are three main type of mixtures transis mix concrete shrink mix concrete central mix concrete transit mix concrete known as truck mix concrete mixing done at the transit and the using truck mixer partially mix concrete is transported then when you cause the site the mixing is completed or at site you complete the mixing how it issues related to the workability of the concrete that also kind of advantage of this type of concrete mix shrink mix concrete used to increase the volume of the volume carried by the truck partially mix cement aggregate and what is put it into the truck then you have a lesser volume then you mix it later complete mixing is done at the site this is the specialty of this mix now let's discuss about central mix concrete that is the most widely used type of concrete this is mostly known as a ready mix concrete even though other two types also fall under ready mix concrete we generally recognize the central mix concrete as the ready mix concrete concrete mix at the stationary plant loaded into the truck mixer to transport to the site no mixing will be done at the truck so truck mixer only to maintain the capacity and the mix consistency only it's rotated but there is no mixing done at the truck important factors of ready mix concrete what are the most important thing you have to consider when we look into the ready mix concrete mix design mix design is the one which decide the concrete grade and its mix proportion and its intrusion conditions depending on the mix design you specify the concrete grade concrete slump and the weights of each material quantities of each material water cement aggregate coarse and fine sector at mixtures in ready mix concrete mostly you don't have ready mix concrete at your site some special project when project is larger you may fix a ready mix plant at site but in other occasions to your patching plant may be in some other locations in such case you have you need to have some time for transportation and then you need some time for concrete pour considering those things if you consider those things you need some time for concrete pour normally concrete get hardened in between 45 to 1 hour time it start setting so this one hour may not be adequate in such case you need to 
delay the setting time. We use admixtures for this. There are some other purposes you use admixtures, high range water reducing, water reducing admixtures. To improve the workability, we can use these kind of admixtures. So we can reduce the amount of water also and we can get the higher workability with these kind of admixtures. But you have to be careful with the new generation admixtures because they are very sensitive. So if you do a trial for certain admixture with certain conditions like aggregate, cement, water, etc. So those conditions shall not be changed throughout the concreting process until you complete that. If you are going to change the source of, source of uh, aggregate, you should better do a trial again and test it whether it meets your requirement. Because of these admissions are sensitive, depending on if you change these uh, material sources, there may be adverse effect. Slump at the plant and at the site. In the during mix design, you specify the slump at the site because when you when the concrete come to the site, there should be adequate workability. The workability indicator is the slump. So, depending on the distance, if if the batching plant is not close by, you measure the slump at batching plant, then you know with the time there may be a drop in the slump. So then you know the slump at site will be this much. You can guess based on your judgment. You can guess. Then you can see, you know, the slump okay at site also. Therefore, you check the slump at batching plant, and you can check the slump at site. Anyway, the actual slump should be at the site. That slump should be as specified in the mix design. So that you have to consider at site. If you can't meet that requirement, that your concrete will be rejected. Concrete temperature. Especially when you have a very large concrete, very thick concrete, 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter concrete, you maintain the temperature at site. Because if the temperature is very high, the heat of hydration, with the heat of hydration, the concrete core temperature will be exceed certain levels, certain limits, like 770 degrees. Generally, to avoid delayed detrimental guide formation, you maintain the temperature around 70 degrees as a general norm so if the placing temperature is very high this possibility of reaching this temperature is there therefore you have to control the placing temperature during mix design based on your concrete condition there are some limitations placing temperature may be limited to 25 degrees so you may cool the use the chill water cool the aggregate any by using any method you Limit the temperature at site to 25 degrees. In, in those cases, at site you measure the temperature and it should be there as specified in the mix design or specification. And in other cases, you generally maintain the temperature around 30 to 32 degrees. So that also you have to make sure it's there. Aggregate. Most one of the most important component of the concrete is the aggregate, that is the filler material we use in the concrete to get the volume increased. So there are different types of aggregate, mainly they have two types, fine and coarse aggregate. Coarse aggregate, of course, you use the metal, and fine aggregates we have to discuss further. Fine aggregates mainly there are two com three components now. Uh, Three component in the sense you only use one type, but now today's construction expansion with the today's construction, we have we have gone for the alternative because early days we use sea sand for the construction works as a fine aggregate, but with the environmental impact and with the increase in demand, we have to go for alternative. As alternatives, now we using sea sand and the manufactured sand. Sea sand is a good source, but you have to clean it very well. You have to test it whether it is meet the it is meet the requirement and the required gradation. Manufactured sand also you have to test it gradually, consistently, and you have to check the gradation and also other harmful chemicals are there or not. You have to test. Then you can use those materials. Advantages of ready mix concrete. 
quality of concrete it can we can maintain the consistency quality of the ready mixed concrete you can do the testing also you can do the sum test you can do the cube test then you can make sure the quality control and quality assurance are there consistency consistency of the concrete mix that also we can maintain because we, we mix with the batch implant so the mix proportion size specified so weight are uh, measured and you your exact quantity will be mixed at site at batch implant efficient production also can be done because you do the batch implant so it can be produced efficiently no material wastage because you do mixing at one place so the the wastage also minimal environment impact is also very less because when compared to the other mixing so uh, you place one you mixing will be done one place and also you can use the other material like sea sand and manufactured sand also that also reduce the environment impact when compared to using the sea sand therefore the impact, environment impact also can be minimized with this method with that to be in the today discussions today we discuss about ready mix concrete what is the ready mix concrete how do you make the ready mix concrete what are the factors to be considered in mixing ready mix concrete and what are the advantage of ready mix concrete we we'll discuss thank you very much we meet again for new video